14, a high single of 179, and a high triple of 419. And she opens with a 10. Opposite Tony Marie's mark. Here's the fill. Fill it with five. Fill it with five. Tough leave. Joanne Rosano is a former WCBC Pro Bowler of the Year, 1988 and 1991, the World International Team Champion. Good effort. tens in the second box. We remind you it is the cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling that decides our champion today. The ladies will bowl the first five boxes. Hand it over to the men. Ball came just a little too left right at the point of impact. That's the shot that Tony Marie has. Is wood to be used? She used it. But it didn't take out the 10. It stays. First pin she's left standing today. Good nine. Nice looking nine. A couple of nines in the third box. The lead stays at five pins for Baldinelli and Ulster. Fourth box, first string. She should be able to pick that up. Nice! Nice mark. You couldn't have hit it any better. You know, it gave it that, uh, I, I don't use this word too, you know, that sickening hollow sound when it struck and you figured that it would spin around and it did. It's a 10 in the fourth box for Joanne Rosano, opposite of Mark in the fourth box for Tony Marie, this is the bonus ball. She'll fill it with. Tommy Olsen wanted help, didn't get it, but nonetheless, the fill is six. The lead stretches to 11. She could pick this up. Pin standing, one pin down. Ten of the fifth box for Tony Marie. And an eight in the fifth box for Joanne Ruzano. We've bowled the first five boxes of the first string. We've got a whole string and a half to go. Bald and Elliot Ulster have inched ahead by 13 pins. We'll hand it off to men, but first we will do this. See you in a couple minutes. Welcome back to Cattle Pin Doubles. It's time for Tom Olsten and Todd Richmond to go to work. Pick up where their partners left off. There's Tommy Olsten. Yo, hello. How do you do? How dare that 10 pin stay standing? Don Richmond leaves the four horsemen left side plus one. That's the shot that Tommy Olsten has. Got a lot of help, used to help. John Richmond has an average of 124, a high single of 199, a high triple of 510. As you might suspect, nice 10, you might suspect. 
These four bowlers are well decorated. Tommy's average is 130 with a high single of 209 and a high triple of 504. This to Phil. Spread eagle. Fill it with four. John Richmond is a former NBA state mixed doubles champion in 1985. 1983 NBA Open state singles champion. 1982 champion. Seventeen pin lead through boxes scored through the sixth box first string. It seemed to be infinitely pick up a ball, but he didn't pick it up. Both men leave pin standing in the seventh. It's a nine for Don Richmond and it's an eight for Tommy Alston. We move to the eighth box, first string. 16 pin lead for Olsta and Baldinelli, the champions from last year. They won eight straight weeks. No one beat them. Four horsemen right plus stay for Tommy. Right on the head pin is Don Richmond and he should make that. Yeah. Second time in three boxes that Tommy is marked. And the Rosano Richmond team has yet to take advantage of the extra ball. And right now, the difference in the match is that. And you got to admit, they've had a couple of chances. So 10 in the eighth box for Don Richmond and a 76 total pinfall for the Richmond Rosano team. There's the fillet with seven, with eight, with. Right on, take him down. There's wood around for Ulster, he can use it, he has. Both men marking in the frame and Don Richmond coming up with a big ball. He needed it. Drops the hammer, he'll get a couple of extra bonus balls with it. Good response by Tommy Olsted to pick up the spare ball. Don Riley doing the chores of Ralph Stewart today because Ralph is sunning in Aruba. But nonetheless, Mr. Riley fills in quite well for us. Phil is flat, Phil is low. There we go, we can tighten the wrench just a little bit. First of the two balls. Nine. Missed a double by that much. All sorts of stuff there. He should get another one. Again, virtually the same ball from Tommy Olsta. It's left the, the end of the alley fairly full. Okay, so Don Richmond fills his strike with 10. He has marked in the 10th box, so he'll get another ball. Tommy Olsta puts up a seven in the 10th box for a 120 team total. He walked over and sat down and said he was sorry. 120 is pretty darn good. Right here, bang, he filled it with nine, 10. How do you do? What a close by Don Richmond. Ninth and 10th boxes, he takes it out. They close the gap to four pins. There are only four pins down. We move to the second string. What a finish. We'll take a break. The ladies will be back up. We'll do the second string right here in doubles. We'll wait for you. We'll see you in a minute. Ladies are back up to start the second string for us. What a great close by Don Richmond. We'll pull the Rosano Richmond team closer. Joanne Rosano. And Tony Marie Baldinelli will start the second string for us. At one point, the Richmond Rosano team was down 24 pins late in the first string. Those three marks in a row by Don Richmond has cut it back to four, taking 20 off that lead. And Joanne Rosano has picked up where her partner left her off. Tony Marie can make this shot. Okay, 
So here we go. The difference in the match so far is four pins. There's an extra ball. Let's see what happens with this. This will affect the positioning as we move to the second box, second string. Cumulative score at the end of two strings. The bowling decides our champion. It looks good. It is good. Is it 10? No, it's nine. Bang. Kick it. It's going to go. No, my heavens, is it? Yes, there it goes. Okay, the fall for Tony Marie is eight, and she should be able to pick that up. If Joanne can get the 10, yet another mark. This team has marked five consecutive boxes, counting what they did at the end of the first string. What was a 24-pin lead for Baldinelli and Ulster has moved to a five-pin deficit. Tony can't close out with a 10. She does a nine. It's a five-pin lead for Rosano and Richmond, and she can stretch it. Here. The minute she threw it, she didn't like it. And the fill was only two, so you know why would she get them all? No. Third box, second string. Nice attempt. She got all except one lonely pin. Tony's got it. That'll give her a bonus ball. And the Rosano Richmond string of consecutive boxes with a mark has been halted somewhat, but she got 10 anyway in that box. We remind you again because it was it was such a wonderful run for them last summer. Tony Marie and Tommy Olster went through the entire summer season undefeated. This is the first match this year. And they got a dogfight in their hands. Here's the fill. Let's see what happens. Tighten the noose just a bit. It'll be seven. That'll cut it right down. One lonely pin. We're headed for a terrific finish. Nice pickup. She had wood. She used it. an eight in the fourth box for Baldinelli. And this is an extra ball, so let's see how much it gets pushed. It's already a one pin lead for Rosano and Richmond. She has a chance to stretch it. A little bad ball. Same for Tony Marie. Rosano fills with three. No. Oh. She's inched their lead up to six pins. This is the fifth box. And barring a tie, this will be the last box the ladies will bowl today. If there is a tie, each bowler will do a box. So for now, Joanna's gone out with a 10. And for now, Tony Maria's gone out with a 7. And I'm sure it's a disappointing close for her. An eight in the fourth box and a seven in the fifth box. Nine pin lead for Richmond and Rosano. We move to the sixth box, second string. And the seasonal defending champions are on the ropes. Don Richmond throwing as well now as he did at the end of the first string. Four horsemen left, plus stay for Tommy. Couple of marks. Both men mark. Both men will throw an extra ball. The difference remains, nine pins.
fill is four for Don Richmond. The fill is, he's gonna get at least one more out of it. The fill is seven for Tommy. So the lead is down to six pins. So delicate, so tender. There'll be no bonus ball for Don Richmond in this box, and we'll see right now if Mr. Olster will throw an extra one. Good bid, good bid. An aggressive go get, he gets it. Boy, I like that kind of ball, and I'll tell you what. Osta had only one play to stay in this match with any kind of hope as it closes out, if you will, and he went right for it. Found that little corridor that took the pins out. Tough leave, but there's wood available. See where, how Richmond plays that. Here's the fill. It's gonna scare it. Oh, no. The fill is four? Is the fill four? The fill is four. Nice bid by Don Richmond. Still leaves a pin standing. He can get these. He does not. So the fill for Tommy Oster was four. The difference for boxes scored is two pins. Richmond gets his 10 in the eight. Olster needs the... Whoa. I was going to say, needs the 10 to keep it at two, but he didn't. He got an eight, so that pushes it back to four. Four pins down. Olsta and Baldinelli, four pins down. We move to the ninth box, second string. Now, I remind you, if there is a tie, everyone will get up and throw a box. First ball from Richmond. First ball from Olsta. Ninth box of seven goals, one pins left. Obviously, Ulster has the better of the two shots, but it'll be tough to get a 10 out of that for Don Richmond. See if Ulster gets the mark. That's why I said, but. That's why I said, but. Well, we'll take a couple of pins off this deficit anyway. All right, 10th box. Two pins separate the men. Two pins and the ladies. Two pins. The team in blue, Richmond and Rosano, are ahead by those two pins. First ball, 10th box. Four horsemen left side. First ball, 10th box. Right on. <laughs> the fall is identical. All right, Richmond shoots. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to come back? It will not come back. All right, now this is a very important ball from Don Richmond. He got the two and he won the match, believe it or not. <laughs> An incredible finish. Outstanding match to start our mixed doubles season. Tommy Olsta and Tony Marie Baldinelli last summer undefeated, eight perfect marks. Come back to open up the season. A terrific match beaten by Rosano and Richmond. Joanne's heart is pounding about, what, a 1,000 beats a second right now? Just about. We'll talk to everybody in just a minute. Great match, great finish, and a one-pin victory. We'll be back in just a minute. Mind if I indulge you? Wasn't that a terrific match or what, huh? It's a great show. Great show. Hold up your trophies nice and proud because the Weeks Trophy and Awards Company of Lynn has really helped us out here uh, proudly, Tony. See, this is wonderful, and we're so happy to have these, really. It was a great show, but one stinking pin, huh? Right, one pins are gonna haunt me. <laughs> They're gonna ruin you. It was a great show, though, Tommy, and I thought maybe in the 10th they had it, and what? Well, I missed the one in the ninth, but that's the way it goes, one pin. That was right, it was a great show, and our thanks for making it a terrific show. Well, there you go, huh? Yeah. Pat in the bag the whole time, she says, right? Oh, no, I was sweating it out, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> great f great finish at the end of the first string, Don. I mean, that, that took it. It's a little better than the second string there. Yeah. It was like, well, here you go. <laughs> you know, but he did the same thing, though. You know, it happens. You know, it's a funny game, and, uh, you know, those are the breaks, and the break came our way, and we win by a pin. It could have went the other way. I'll tell you we? what. It was a great match. We want to remind you we won't be on for two weeks, so you'll see these guys bowling again. Two weeks from now, we'll be back, and of course... Where'd he go? 
Behind us, your son was bowling. There he goes. I wanted to tell you we were being serenaded by the bowling of young Mr. Richmond. For all of us at Candleton Doubles, I'm Ed Harding. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, and thanks for joining us. Bye-bye, everybody.